Well, guys, yesterday we uh, did an inspection on the truck, and uh, we found that that uh, that shock. You see, it's leaking, so it's done. So I need to replace it. So we are replacing it today. We need a twenty-eight socket. Twenty-nine. Twenty-eight. This one's a little too big. Oh. And I got a 30 <clears throat> box wrench to hold it in the back. So I bought them uh OEMs. They didn't add they didn't have the Gabriels. Uh they had the Monroe's but they were gas. I don't like gas because of this. When uh when a shock is out. I mean, I could tell if it's oil-based, but if it's gas-based, it's just air, so it's just gonna go out and it's gonna mess up my tire. So I'd rather have oil-based uh, shocks. That way I'll know which ones uh, are going out. Let me go try to get that other sock. Hold on. <clears throat> Okay, you can see that he took the shock off, he put the new one on, and this is the old one. And he's about to take the passenger side off, if you could hear him. Here he is taking off the passenger shock. Right there on the, on the screw. There's another one. Is that it? Oh, there's another one missing. Did that one pretty bad too? No, this one's good. This one's not leaking. See people? No, yeah. that one still has, has life to it. Yeah, the other one's the one that's... he's going to put on the new one we'll be right back okay people passenger side shock is on one two three it was so fast <laughs> wasn't it real yeah an easy job but look at how dirty your hands are because <laughs> of that stupid shock that shock is leaking pretty bad yeah. i mean this one still has a little bit of life Compared to that one, that one's sweaty, sweaty. It's done. It's over. So yeah, guys. Uh, me personally, I don't like leaving trucks. Just if I see something wrong with it, I don't know. Call me a tweaker or what have you. I need to fix it because. Uh, I can't have my guys driving crappy trucks. And uh his self-conscious will bug him all night and he won't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'll yeah, be a stress much. box again for the second day. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> uh, so I like to get to it. Uh that air leak that we have on on that uh fire manifold. Freightliner didn't have it right now. So, today's Saturday, so I gotta shop around for it. But I gotta find it. 
because he's got an air leak right there, so. But yeah, look at the shock. It's all wet. It's not good. So, we swapped them out. Gabriel's. They look brand new, too. They don't look that old. But uh, we got OEMs. Uh, let's see how long the OEMs last. Wasn't a hard job, easy job. Maybe 20 minutes tops. So that's why I like the oil based shocks. You know, everybody, you know, to each his own, but that's the reason why I like oil based, based shocks. If they go out, I can see it. If I don't fix it fast enough, it's gonna mess up my tire. And now you're paying double, you know, you gotta buy the shocks and then you gotta buy a tire or do the alignment on the tire, the balance, what have you. So get to the shocks. I put oil-based shocks on them. So hope this video was helpful. Helpful. If you're out there driving, drive safe, be safe. We'll see you guys on our next video.